In today's tutorial, I will teach you how to put a video or an image inside any text. I'll also teach you how to create this incredible transition to give an extra touch to your videos. Once inside DaVinci Resolve, we must place the clip in a higher video track, since in the lower track, we will put the text. Next, we have to go to the effects menu. We click. Now we must display the toolbox and look for the section titles. We select text or text plus. It doesn't matter which you choose for this effect, they both work. We click on it and drag it to the timeline. We put it just below the video clip. We adjust the text clip correctly so that it has the same duration as the video. Once this is done, we deactivate this video track to be able to see the text that we've put below. You just have to click on this icon here. Now click on the text clip and go to the title section. If this option doesn't appear, you just have to click on the inspector menu and all these options will appear. Perfect. Now we're going to change the text. Just write the title you want in the font family section. We can change the typography. Lastly, I'm going to change the size of the text and adjust it so that it occupies the entire screen. Great. Now we would have our text placed to be able to do this effect correctly. We just make sure that the text is completely white. In the event that you have changed the color, simply select the white color here and check that the arrow located in this bar on the right is at the top so that the text is completely white. Okay, now we already have our text finished. Let's go to the next step. We activate the video track that we've previously deactivated and click on the video clip of the clouds. Now we simply have to change the composite mode from normal to darken. We click and we would already have our text with an incorporated video. That easy. Now I'm gonna teach you how to make the transition in which there is a zoom in the text. We get inside the text and we make the transition to the video clip. So that this transition looks good, I recommend you use a video that has a camera movement towards forward. That is that the elements that appear in the video are approaching the camera. With the text and the video clip in the timeline, as in the previous example, we click on the video and go to the inspector menu. Now we change the composite mode from normal to darken. We see that the video appears inside the text. Next, I'm going to change the text for something more in keeping with the video. I'm going to write, for example, city. Now in the text clip, we have to go to the section settings. We click. Here we must activate this dynamic zoom function. We click on this circle. When we click, it should turn red, which indicates that it's activated. If we play the video, we see that it's applied a small zoom out. The text zooms out. We want the opposite, that the text zooms in on the screen. To change this, you must go back to the dynamic zoom function and press the swap button. Now we will have a zoom in. The text will zoom in on the screen. Great. Finally, all that remains is to configure the dynamic zoom manually to make the text get much closer. To do this, click on this little arrow here and select dynamic zoom. When you click, these two colored boxes will appear in the viewer. The green rectangle indicates where the zoom of our video begins and the red rectangle where the zoom will end. We must modify the red box so that the zoom ends within a letter of the text. To do this, we click on a circle in the corner and adjust the size of the rectangle. I'm going to decrease it and make the zoom end inside the letter. Perfect. Once we've finished placing the final zone of our zoom, we'll have the following. The video will start in the green zone and all the text will be seen. Then it will zoom in until it reaches the red zone. Okay. Let's play to see how it looks. We see that there's a small problem. After zooming and passing the text, we see that the screen stays on black. This is because we've previously put the composite of the video clip in darken mode. And since we don't have the text below, nothing can be seen. To solve this, we must select the knife tool and make a cut just where the text ends 
here. We deselect the knife tool. Now we just have to change the composition mode of this part of the video. We click and put the composite mode back to normal. Now the video appears. If we hit play, we can see that the transition is finished. It could not have been better. Now you know how to put your video inside text. And that's all for today. See you in the next video.